Hello, my strong, strong friends. Welcome to Meg's Kitchen. I don't do videos like this normally, but today we're gonna do it just for you. This video, I'm gonna teach you how to make something that has completely changed my life. It's called casein pudding. I know it might not sound like the most special thing in the world, but this shit tastes good and I wanna share it with you because people would always tell me like casein recipes and I'd be like, that sounds gross. But this, it's not gross, I can guarantee. If you are new around here, first of all, subscribe to my channel because you're in my kitchen right now and it would be rude for you not to know me and be my friend. Like this video if you wanna see more recipes or more videos about nutrition and diet. If you don't know, I am on the RP base template right now. I've been staying on the base for a little while. I think cut one is, it's coming. It's coming soon. This is my template. If you've never seen RP, this is what it looks like. It'll be different depending on your goal, depending on your body weight, but mine, every night I have a bedtime protein meal. RP suggests to have 25 grams of casein and water. And when I'm training, I can have 20 grams of healthy fat in addition to that casein protein and 20 grams of carbs. Depends on depends on how like late I train. But anyway, I'm today I'm gonna make casein with some carbs, but I'll start with casein and my fat source only. So I'm gonna show you two options. One will be with carbs and one will be without. Okay, so let's get started. I have a scale here to make sure that I'm not eating over because that's something that I tend to do. So first thing, we're gonna start with our casein. Uh, this is a huge thing of casein from bodybuilding.com from their signature line. It's delicious. I recommend you to buy this. You can use my discount code, make squats, if you wanna get an extra discount. The difference between whey and casein is that mostly is that casein is just slower digesting. So it's better to have at night, not during your workout. So we've got our protein, casein, chocolate, and then I'm just going to add, I'm not gonna measure this because it's pretty low. It's not very much calories. It was just vanilla flavored water. This is vanilla almond milk. It's unsweetened. I'm really just going to add a little bit and mix. And I'm looking for the consistency of pudding. If you have true poverty macros, you can add water, but God bless your soul. So you that's a little too dry, but I wouldn't go crazy on adding a ton of water. Just add it slowly. If you add too much, it's hard to go back. It's easy to add more. You can't really just go back in time. Okay, this is right where we want to be. Now, if you were to have the most poverty of macros, you could probably eat this and be fine. In my opinion, this would taste way better than drinking a casein shake. If you're like me, or if you're on RP, a lot of us have our fat, save our fat sources for late at night. I'm going to use a mix of unsweetened shredded coconut and where my peanut butter go? Thank you. And peanut butter. So this is organic creamy peanut butter. So get to 10 grams. 10 grams, 15 grams, shakalaka. Now, to be completely honest with you, this is good enough. Like, this is pretty good. Kind of tastes like a no-bake cookie, but pudding style. Next, we're gonna add peanut butter. So I've used 10 grams of fat already. I have 20 grams of fat that I can hit. I'm gonna do a half a serving. Important distinction with anyone who has never used RP. RP will count sources of macronutrient. So here, of course, there is some protein and there's also some carbs in this peanut butter, but I'm only using it as a source of fat. So I'm only really counting the grams of fat that are in this. It just is a way to simplify your macro counting. Uh, so if you have no carbs, obviously there's some carbs in this, but if you're on RP and you don't have any carbs planned, then this is this is delicious. You're gonna love this. But if you got some carbs, then we can just really go crazy. If you know me, you know that I love Rice Krispie treats. And Rice Krispie treats cereal is the best cereal ever invented. Gotta do it slow, cause 10 grams, but Rice Krispie is so light, the volume is just gonna be, I'm still at zero. It hasn't even counted a gram yet. Okay, it's at two. Eight, nine, five. Slow, slow, 10. There's one gram of carb, four, 
five grams of whipped cream. I don't actually know what five grams of whipped cream looks like, so I'm gonna see, because usually I don't even count this, to be 100% honest, but let's do it for the sake of the video. How much, oh shit, that's 10 grams. Damn, whipped cream is heavy! Five. Okay, now I got whipped cream, and who doesn't want some sprinkles? I'm just gonna go in with the whip, and boom. I know it doesn't look like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, but it's awesome. There's whipped cream, there's sprinkles, and there's 25 grams of protein in it. And if you play it smart, you may be able to have this every single day. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my casein protein. This is a staple in my diet and has all my favorite things. Protein, Rice Krispies, sprinkles, coconut, peanut butter. What more can you ask for? Okay, like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.